going on everyone? It's Blandon here from Elite 4 TV. Hopefully you didn't miss me too much. Been a little bit busy. If you haven't noticed, that's a baby cop. Got a baby on the way, so been pretty, pretty hectic over here. But today we are gonna go over the Jungle Cup meta and the spreadsheet for the team builder. So let's jump right into it. Before I do though, I'm gonna give a shout out to my man, I'm gonna butcher this, but Kev Killer K, he's from Belgium, one of the top players. He just recently went to the Opens and I believe he attended into the Worlds as well. So he's been actually working on the spreadsheet quite a bit and we wouldn't have this many Pokemon if it wasn't for Kev. Very solid player. So definitely add him on Discord as well. And you can see, man, pretty solid record. It's just so cool that someone's willing to put their hand up and go, hey, I'm gonna help you out with the spreadsheet. So props to him. So let's jump into it really, really quick. Um, on the first page, you're gonna be able to see uh, the PV poke list. And this is the 41 uh, Pokemon that we use. You can actually plug them into PV poke. So second one is the data sheet. So through the data sheet, you're going to be able to see where the weakness of these Pokemon are. So you can look at Vigoroth straight away. There is not much yellow. There's not much that beats Vigoroth in this meta. And so you can see tons of tons of blue. That means it's got tons of positive matchup. Um, and then you can look for the Pokemon that has very, very blue matchups as well, because straight away you'll be able to know that's a farmable matchup. Say, for example, Mascarin farming Breelum. That's really easy to see. Uh, and what else is good here? So you can see Alolan Graveler and Golem. They're going to farm all the bugs and the flyers, which is great. So that's pretty simple, the data sheet. Uh, and then the trio builder, this one allows you to sort of work out what are some perfect duels. So I've already worked out a few perfect duels there uh, that I think are near perfect. I mean, you know, someone can tell me otherwise. Uh, the first one obviously is Knocked Out and Vigoroth. That is a pair that is a force to be reckoned with. So let's have a look at Vigoroth and Knocked Out. And how do we read this? So if I plug in the two Pokemon there, I know it's very, very small, but all you need to pay attention is to this column here, it's called a duel column, and you'll be able to see where the weaknesses are for this duel. So straight away you can see Lantern has seven positive matchup. That's, that's because it farms the Knocked Out and it beats the Vigoroth in the No Shield matchup. But besides that, it's a near perfect duel. There is nothing that really can take out both of these Pokemon together. The second duel I have here, a very, very popular one, the Graveler Venusaur. So this one is actually very common. I mean, if you play a Bastardon and Venusaur in the uh, freestyle, you'll know that that's a very good duel. I mean, Graveler is sort of replacing the Bastardon in this cup. No way near as good, but still near perfect. So let's have a look at this. Venusaur over here. And straight away, you'll be able to see what it's going to be weak against is Heracross. Because Heracross is able to take out the Venusaur in the one and the no shield matchup. The third duel is Forestress and Lantern. So I'm going to let you guys sort of play around with this yourself. And then sort of discover what counters these top duels. Heracross, Graveler, Vesper Queen, Vigoroth, Executor, Lantern. Which I quite enjoy playing as well. So... Let's jump into the team builder and I've kind of made a template for you guys. Basically, it's, you know, if you want to be creative, don't use this template. But if you want to go easy mode, the main thing about team building is always bring two counters to the main metas. And we've learned that since the Kingdom Cup, because what happens is if you only bring one counter to one of the meta Pokemon, it's very, very predictable that your opponent is able to just bring down that one counter for the team. So I'm going to show you what I mean soon, but here this is a cheat sheet for you to build your team. If you just follow this example, it's going to be very easy for you. 
and you're going to be able to have very good coverage. So starting off with Vigoroth and Noctowl, we know that's a perfect duel. So if you bring a third with these guys, you know, you've got a very solid team and it pretty much can take majority of the meta. On the third Pokemon slot, you want a pure Vigoroth counter. And what I mean is something like a Heracross or Venusaur or Vesper Queen. And it's very important to bring that Vigoroth counter because this is this cup is dominated by Vigoroth, obviously. And then the fourth slot, I would recommend something that will counter to Vigoroth and Heracross. I've seen a lot of teams online right now that only has one counter to Heracross, which is a big mistake. So it's very important that your second Vigoroth counter is going to counter the Heracross as well. So something like a Beedrill, Vesper Queen or Venomoth. On the fifth slot, you want to bring Electric. So Graveler, we know that's a Bug Squasher and I definitely would recommend it. If you bring Graveler, you can also bring a second Electric. So we've seen the Philadelphia Cup, how the Electric has won the finals. Double Electric line has won the finals. It was Graveler with Lantern. And so the Electric's role is purely to take out Noctowl and also squash the bugs and provides a little bit of threat as well against Vigoroth because most of them will deal a lot of damage if it was unshielded. Save, for example, even Magneton, it goes down really quick, but landing a Magnet Bomb will mean a lot. So on the sixth slot, you can go for a Specialist. What I mean by Specialist is someone that takes out a particular combo. So for example, Lantern sort of will take out the Noctowl Graveler combo is you're going to be able to discourage your opponent playing Noctowl and Graveler together. Forestress, if you're seeing an opponent running Venomoth, sorry, Venusaur and Graveler, like Valor Ash, Valor Ash ran Venusaur and Graveler, and on the Philadelphia Cup, it was very tough for him because there were a lot of Forestress in the field. And then you've also got the Razor Leafer that will break the Heracross Graveler combo, and I think that is a very strong combo that you need to watch out for. And then Heracross is going to take out that Lantern Forestress combo. That's a very strong combo because Lantern has, uh, it's going to be weak to grass, but Forestress is going to be able to cover for that very, very well. So if you use this template, I think you have uh, some decent coverage there. So let's have a look at the opponent's analysis. I've just made some template lines here. So the first one being Vigoroth, Noctowl, Venusaur, Heracross, Graveler, and Forestress. A very, very common line. Now, if I was playing this team, like the template team that I showed you, the first thing I'm looking for is Pokemon with tons of blue matchups. That means I have positive matchup. So Heracross is actually very, very good here. You can see Heracross is only going to lose to the Noctowl in all scenario and in the two shield scenario against Venusaur. It's got the mirror matchup as well. Now, how could I exploit this team? Because there's only one hard counter for Heracross, I want Heracross to be my closer and I want to bait out the Noctowl. Noctowl is the only thing that is going to stand in the way for the Heracross. So how would I play, play the Heracross? So in order for me to close with Heracross, I need to bait out the Noctowl. I'm going to play Vigoroth in the beginning. So if I catch the Noctowl, great. I'm going to leave my Vigoroth in and then just play the counter, right? If I, if I run Vigoroth and I run into Venusaur, I'm going to swap into Forestry straight away. And what that is going to do is going to force my opponent to probably bring out his Noctowl. And if he brings out his hard counter for Forestress, which is the Noctowl, we're going to be able to lock that Noctowl in and knock it down with Vigoroth afterwards. And then Heracross is going to be able to sweep because Noctowl is gone. So that's how I would use this uh, opponent's analysis. Now, if you learned something, please support us by like and subscribing. And we've also started a Patreon. And if you want these Excel sheets faster, we could actually outsource it. I don't need any money. We do this for free with a passion. But if you want to support us and you want to see these spreadsheets faster, it would be very cool. We can sort of make the instructions into video and then send it out outsource. And just for a dollar a month, 
you're going to be able to get those spreadsheets faster. You're going to have more Pokemon to choose from. So support us. Check out the Patreon below. Appreciate it. Signing out. Talk soon.